The feeling is one of gratitude and one of empowerment. I really felt like as I've started, you know, many, many years ago telling my story to, you know, big groups, little groups, whoever wanted to hear it, just because I felt like, gosh, we survived. Our family actually thrived and stayed together and we got through this. We wanted to help people maybe see what what we didn't see and also to know there's hope. No one thinks that their best friend is a monster, but he has all the hallmarks of a psychopathic personality. Your husband kidnapped her. Again! Where is Jan? Where is she? There's no telling what he is capable of. I'm crazy. Once we felt completely exposed from, you know, the documentary, which was really powerful, but it didn't tell all of the story and with all of the nuances. Boy, when Nick called that first, like two months, is maybe not even two months after the documentary came out, I could feel literally through the phone that he and Alex Hedlund, you know, they wanted to further the reason I was telling the story to show the psychology of a master manipulator, a groomer, the slow burn, and it's someone close to you. That's why you don't see it. And that's the most common kind of abuse and the least talked about. And that's always been my goal. How can people see what's sitting right there in their congregation, their home, their neighborhood, their sports team, their school? It's right there and their kids aren't telling them, even if those children have wonderful relationships with their parents like I did before this happened. They won't tell if they're protecting someone in their family or if they're scared or if they're rewarded. So it was really important to tell it in this way. And it's been marvelous to be a part of it. I have felt very cared for and the message is strong and the story is realistic and truthful. And I think it will relate to millions and millions and millions of people and families.